Welcome back to the Banana Empire in Hearts of Iron 4. Now we've, um, we've taken what was Peru, I'm just starting to think about moving into Bolivia. Oh, possibly Chile and Argentina. I don't know how many of these actually have, um, I don't know how many of these would actually grow bananas. I think Peru does, but it's not really... Let's see. Some resistance is a bit slight issue. Might want to start um yeah, creating creation governments. So plans to expand north have gone not gone well because they're now in the Cuba are now in the Allies, though they are establishing relations with the Soviets. This is a bit of a problem. Oh well, not much I can really do about it for now. I think I'm going to not bother with them. Considering going after um firing PC and the Dominican Republic, but it's a, but that's quite a while away. To be honest, I think we could probably get more out of uh, these little countries here. Ooh, that's interesting. Ireland joined the Greater East Asian Co Prosperity Sphere. Well, now, I did not expect them to do that. Maybe I should have invited them to join us. And now they're at war with Britain. Still want convoys, and I'm willing to sell them to everyone. See how well that goes. Looks like the Brits are Yeah, I'm not sure what that was supposed to be about. What were they thinking? This is why I don't generally tend to go to war with the with the Brits as Ireland. If they want to buy convoys, sure. Sell them to everyone. I'm going to switch over to air power projection now because I need a lot of air XP for and the extra efficiency might be great, but basically a bit of a pain in the arse to just get that extra bit of, of air superiority to need to um need to need to make the power drops here into here into Peru. Who do the British think they are exerting influence on Turkey? They can't even... Oh, they've actually landed in... The winds. Oxford, sorry. This is why I tend not to... Go. Can't even take Belva. And their... Brits are pushing... Ireland has cancelled our sales contract. 
Probably because I can't get any anything into Dublin now. Oh. This world has gone very chaotic. I mean, Iran is doing pretty well. So is Germany. I wonder how this is going to end up. Is some sort of stalemate Cold War? But no matter. They will always need bananas. Want them anyway. Yep. What was I expecting there? So it looks like the Irish are. Eh. As far as the United Fruit is concerned, this is a sideshow. A mildly interesting one. The sideshow, nonetheless. Oh, this is interesting. Republic of Colombia, the Allied version, has started pushing back against against our client state. This is interesting. And by interesting, I mean, oh, what the is going on here?
<laughs> Iron fell. Big surprise there. Hmm. Well, for that. Well, for Columbia, I'll work. They're not in with us, so we're keep keep clear. So well, this is interesting. Argentina wants wants to promote peace and unity among Latin America, hosting a series of meetings that set rules between our countries in order to avoid military contribution. So it would take us longer to justify a war goal and for people war goals on us and we gain plus 5% base stability also. which I'm not going to bother say no we're going to go after Bolivia and then possibly Chile. They have cancelled our equipment trades. It's an unjust financial burden on us. Well, that was expected. The USSR has actually capitulated. And oh, Finland has declared war on them. So uh, yeah, this is kind of interesting to see just how things have changed. Could not really have expected this. Going quit is in the. His favor. Yes, we are going to stay out of that. One collaboration government done. I see no reason not to do it second. Let's see. Cuba, not really. That's where a lot of factories, but we're not short of those. And I think it's time we start getting some armor divisions. Ooh, we're very short of light tanks, though. Two, just to help hold. These, they are very expensive. Yeah, I'm gonna need way more of those. Scale back the and war trains as well. Again, lots of things. So, having got rocket our rockets, we can now add rocket rails to our planes, which are probably the best. One of the best support, uh, close air support weaponry you can get. They don't add any weight when you're, when you're not on close air support. And if you are on close support, air support, they only add one weight. Like they they provide a lot of bang for our buck. Our buck. Most bang for our buck as well. Of course, I am adding some extra at automatic cannons plus some heavy machine guns, but with the upgrade. It's um engine we should be able to have a problem. 
It's going to take a while for them to get upgraded, but... Well, we're nearly converting two a day. That's... Fast. Yeah. Anything here. Like there was a, was a naval invasion going on near London or other than sea, and the Germans are pushing into Finland. Hmm. Might not be going too badly for them. Should look at declaring war on.
Jeez. But I'm getting close to getting this um um Basically just send the paratroopers here, have the marines push through the jungle. They work best. Cross those rivers, and the regular infantry will just hold on either side of this lake. That's a very big sinkhole. If he's screwed, zoomed in like that. Yeah, I never actually look at it at such low level. Oh well. Well, Finland has capitulated to the Axis. It's holding on to... Murmansk. They've landed in Denmark. Hmm. It's only being pushed back here. This area's a bit of a mess, so it's here. Most of Africa they own except for North. How they're getting supplies. The isn't a lot. That's not of, of no interest to us. Plan to take it here. And with that, all of the Central American Unification Tree has been completed. Now what? Well, I might as well complete creating an electronics industry a bit late now. Then I. Of these to get into the group naval doctrines, but I have a lot of those to go. Why not? It's not like I've it's not like I've anything else to do. I may as well design start as it's not like I've anything to use the X on. I suppose if I do end up going to war with the US and UK, I might don't. But you know what they say. Have it and not need it than the other way around. Oh. Iran has declared war on the Syrian Republic. This war has gone to has gone very weird for the years. It's go time. Yep. Worked pretty much as expected. A little ah, we don't have apparently don't have enough air superior. We only have sixty four percent air. Excellent. Now, these two. Well, to get there, but 
Oh, they've linked up. At this point, I think we have full air superiority now. All right, boys, you push towards La Paz. As the supplies get through. And, and that is it. Right. Marines. Ah, yes, one of them took part in the attack on La Paz. I will give you your breakthrough. Put them back up here in door. Well, let's see. Well, not much in the too much in the way of resistance, like I think that's I think that's probably gonna be it for this episode. So it's gone a bit weird over the last bit last while. The USSR has fallen. Iran has pushed into Iraq. Ireland went fascist and declared war on the UK. East Finland has fallen to the Germans. Things are looking a bit weird. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.